is Brother Wes. This is Prophet Wes. Uh, coming back to you again, um, I just to encourage you, give you um, some words of insight, um, express and, and, and express to you um, um, the, the revelation, the manifestation of uh, the relationship of of, of my of, of my, my relationship with God. Uh, able to express it to you in a way, to able to uh, uh, speak to you in a way where where God fills my heart up, and and so all the time my heart is full. My heart is full. I'm full. I'm full. And so a lot of times I'm just trying to uh, release uh, what God has put into me, where I can be a blessing to um, you, you and you. I hope. The things that God has put in my heart is really helping me of you. I hear that they are. I hear your comments. I hear your response. And uh, the thing that I will say is um, pace yourself. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. It's a, um, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, the race is not given to the swift nor the strong. And so, um, and so pace yourself. Pace yourself. Don't be in a hurry. Don't allow your zeal, the excitement to do certain things for God. Get in the way of trying to do and mess up and get in the way. So a lot of times, especially when, 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 when there's something new, especially when God has touched you in a new way and, and you feel like you, you, can, you can use what he's touched you with, oftentimes we want to run without being sent, without being taught. And so even though the information that you do have and God has given you that information, but now you, though that information that he's given you, you need to develop it. Because you know what, knowledge, knowledge without wisdom or understanding is useless. It's just like it's like having a nice car, a nice car, a nice car, five, six feet, but you don't know how to drive it. Look nice, just a trophy. Don't mean that just looking, just look good. Oh, look what I got. Yeah, but can't drive it though. And so and so that's how knowledge is without wisdom and understanding. The Bible says all you're getting get an understanding. The wisdom is the principal thing. So and so um, my my message that I wanted to to speak to you today is to um, uh, be a peacemaker. Be a peacemaker. Be a peacemaker. Be a peacemaker. Uh, in Hebrews 12, 12 and 14, it says, the Bible tells us to, the scriptures tells us to follow peace with all men. And holiness, without which shall no man see the Lord. And so, in order to see God, you got to follow peace. But, uh, the Bible also said, but if you don't follow peace, lest, the next scripture said, lest a root of bitterness spring up in you, whereby many be found. And so in other words, when you're bitter, and the sweetness of God is left when you're bitter, and you don't allow uh, God to deal with that bitterness. If you don't allow God to deal with it, it becomes like a sickness. It becomes like, you can say, you can say like leaving some food out. And that was supposed to be refrigerated and supposed to be sealed. And but now what was sealed is now uncovered and exposed. And now that is that is uncovered and exposed, there's a smell, bitterness. And bitterness, the Bible says about jealousy. Jealousy is as cruelty as the grave. The same, the same thing, the same thing in the same family is bitterness. Just like when somebody dies, because if someone dies, uh, after a while, after a while, that body's going to decay. After a while, something's going to happen, and there's going to be a smell. And so that's why when, when people um, are buried, they're buried deep underground, deep underneath, buried deep. Deep to block the smell. Deep to block the smell. Uh, buried deep to block the smell. So, but the lights done went out. The lights done went out. The lights done went out deep without a smell. But that, that's, what, that's, that's what we need to, to, to have, have his word deep, buried deep. You have to have the word buried deep in our heart, deep in your heart. And, and when, when God's word is buried deep into your heart, then you will know how to respond. When, when God's word has been become buried deep in your heart, you know how to act. You'll know what to say. And you'll know how and how to say it's a behavior. Anytime you come in Christ and anytime you represent and you say that you belong to Christ, there comes a behavior, there comes a... Uh, there comes a behavior, there comes a house rules. House rules, you got to act a certain way. Uh, well, another word is, uh, what's house rules? Another word is um, uh, home training. You got to have some home training. 
And and so because when you when you leave the house, whatever how you act, it's reflection on the house. It's reflection on the teacher, on the teacher or the on the one that you said that 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 is teaching you. That that's your rabbi. That's your father. That's your master. And so it's very important how we carry ourselves as believers. It's very important how we carry ourselves. And and the thing that we must do as believers, when someone do something to us wrong, we can't respond like. They respond to us. We have to turn the other cheek. See, because faith is a position. Love is a position. Love is a position, but also it's a behavior. It's a behavior. It's a way of acting. It's a way of talking. It's a way of walking. It's, it's a way of, of living. It, it's, it's a way of presenting yourself. Because in how you present yourself, we determine where you come from. You need to know that how you act and how you carry yourself will be an indication on where you come from. You got people who act like they come from the royal house, but but the royal or royal house, but they act like they out of the alley, talking out of the alley. And just just people just just so ignorant. You can tell. Even when people come come or even on just a respect, when people even come on your page, they come on your page trying to control, trying to accuse. And you know that that, that that's the first step of no home training. Because it's like somebody coming to your house. Somebody coming to your house, they come, they knock. They be respectful. See, but now you got people that they come and they come in any kind of way, their mindset. They want to try to run over everybody and anybody and say whatever. <laughs> See, but the thing about it, you know, when you come to when you come to a house, a real house, then there's rules. And if you don't abide by those rules, you got to go. You got to go and see this is how you have to be. This is how you have to be in your house. In your house right now, and in your house right now, many of you, many of you, um, there's a mess in your house. Many of you, there's some confusion in your house. Many of you, there's something in your house that don't belong. And and, and so just like just like having uh, just like having a, a roach or whatever, like having something in your house, and uh, something and you're afraid of that thing. My thing is, you ain't paying no bills. It, 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 me, I'm gonna have to go. You have to go if you gonna pay some bills. If you ain't paying no bills, you gotta go. And so that's how you gotta be about people. That's how you gotta be about people, about your business, about, about business in your house. What's going on with you? You got just like that. Tell, stay out your business. Stay out your business. You ain't paying none. You ain't paying none. You ain't investing none. You ain't got nothing to say. You ain't got nothing to say. You don't know nothing. See, that's how you have to understand what people on the outside looking in. <clears throat> See, cause people on the outside looking in, they on the outside. They don't know what's going on. And so that's the enemy. The enemy's on the outside. He on the outside looking in. He don't know what's going on. He only knows what you tell him. He only knows what you utter. And, and so and that's when you invite the enemy into your house. And so what you need to do, you need to keep him out of your house. And if, if the enemy is in your house, if the truth confusion is in your house, you need to run it out your house. You need to run it out your house. See, because it's a threat against the house roof. It's a threat. And it comes to bring confusion. See but, see, but God wants you to always have a resonance of peace. Peace. Because in peace there's restoration. In peace there's joy. In peace there's harmony. In peace there's unity. And, and, so, and so my word is keep that peace. Keep that peace. Keep that peace. Is that all right? God bless you.